very interesting tool which I'm going to show you now. OK, so that is a 3D animations of your water in a realistic way. OK, so first we will going to create a 3D animations over the a particular water body. If you see here in this image, maybe you will not able to see, but I will show you this. So what is this called? 3D uh, means a realistic 3D view. What is this actually? OK, so that you just understand first. Then I will show you the full demo the still picture, so you will not understand. But if you see here, you will get some visualizations things like see the waves are actually moving. OK, so if you some cases, OK, so you can create a 3D animations with this type of realistic views which you can apply it over different kind of uh, features. OK, like what uh, tree, OK, tree movements. These all things which you can uh, show, the, show you can be able to show you here. Now the thing is how I'm going to create it. OK, so we're going to show you on this. It's a very interesting things. And with that, there is a two more things are there which I am going to show you together. So this is the 3D animation. And if you see, there is a kind of a black spots will be there. That is kind kind called this as a visualization effect. OK, so if you see here, so we have this is new tool which is added, which is not there in ArcGIS 2.9. This is actually added. So improved 3D display and visual control and post processing effect. So these two things are actually added. OK, so how it will be going to create these two things like this one, another one. OK, so this is for the improved visualization control for the visual effect tool and this is for the processing post processing effect tool. So both you can uh, able to use to make in you know, a more realistic uh, means kind of 3D animation kind of things which you can show you over here. OK, so. For that, so this I'm going to show you over. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to create this realistic from the scratch. OK, so I'm just come back to this. OK, and I will create a new map layout. So let's create a new map layout. So in the map layout, what we will do, we will going to search uh, some particular locations and uh, something uh, like kind of a lake I'm going to search. OK, so for that uh, I will go to map, take the local. I just type city Kolkata. Enter. OK, so this is the Kolkata West Bengal, so I can take some suppose tank will be there. So this is the one kind of small lakes will be there. OK, so let's create. Let's see how I'm going to create that type of animations over this 3.0. So for that, I'm just going to create a new vector file. So vector file, how will you to create? It's very easy in ArcGIS Pro. So I will go back to the catalog. So this is the temporary folder which I created. So under this, I will create a new shape file. OK. So this shape files is basically my feature class, which I'm going to give a name as a water or lake. Lake you can give. OK, so this will be your polygon structure. What it will be? It will be a polygon structure. OK, so now I'm going to transfer the coordinate, the map coordinates only because I'm going to do the drawing directly over the map. So in the coordinate system, you can directly import the current map coordinate system. So that is a good advantage in ArcGIS Pro, like you can directly do detailations over ArcGIS Pro. OK, in case of ArcGIS desktop, you can't do these things because uh, if you if you just uh, pan your base map now, so it will be uh, moving um, very slow or it will be getting very high. OK, and you have a lot of base maps options will be there. If you see here, you have uh, <coughs> like. It is called image hybrid. I will show you over the image hybrid also. OK, so image hybrid basically you will give it uh, the local information also. Yeah. But anyway, now our main objective is to create a shape file. I'm just going to create a shape file now. Aww. See here. So shape files will be created. So I will just click on this lake. OK, and the property. I will change this color as a, like a little bit looking like a water body. So I'm just selecting this. So now I will going to create a particular water boundary exactly with this. OK, not exactly, but uh, I will try to make it. But anyway, so you can go to the edit tool. Take the create. Take the layer file and then started digitizing to create this particular suppose. The lake I'm just trying to digitize. OK, 
okay so this is the link which we will try to digitize over it and i just simply give save that's all okay now what we'll going to do i just want to make it this in a realistic mode in what in 3d so you need to convert this 2d scenes into 3d so you have a direct options to convert your 2d scenes into 3d scenes okay so how we'll do that go to the view okay so in just convert you can see in this look means maps to the scene okay to map to a local scene okay local scene is the small for the small area we usually go for the local scene global scene is basically whenever you have some data which will representing the full world okay so in that case you can go for the global scene so what type of data like the air traffic movements or migrations of the birds if you are going for that type of research then you can go for the global scene okay anyway now <coughs> this is my <coughs> this maps will come so the first things which will have to do it here whenever you are converting it map 2d to 3d still you see your layer is in actually 2d so what you need to do you just need to drag this and take it to your 3d window that's all okay now your 3d now this one it's came to your 3d window so if you want you can drag it like this but still you just see you will not able to find anything over here any changes over here so that you need to adjust in the symbology panel so how we'll do it so simply click on this lake okay so under the property you have this layer option okay so if you go in layer option first thing you have to do you have to stop this stroke one okay you just stop this stroke one check off this stroke one and now this solid fill options will be there now you just go there and simply click on this animated field okay so this is called animated field so here my file types will be the water because over the water i just want to see and here you have a various options like water body size okay so first i'm just clicking over this from medium to high to show you uh, in a better way so this is my large files and this is a clam water i will change it to uh, ripple or slides okay so i will make it slides okay now you just see here if i click on apply so you just see here something of realistic view of that particular water body you can see the water is start moving now okay so here if you want you can give a web directions and wherever the web directions you want you can change the web directions also like 90 degree i'm just trying to change okay and uh, suppose from the slides i want to make it moderate so simply click on apply let's okay, so see here so i make it moderate it's a little faster okay so if you want to change this from 90 degree to 45 degree click on apply you just see the directions will change so you can make your uh, you can say this type of uh, animations according to the sun angle of your camera or something the wind is moving what sides according to your animations of your tree okay where you the tree also you can make this type of animations where it can moving the leaves okay so if you make uh, trees and water body in the same direction so people can understand that what wind will blow from this so it's make a, a realistic kind of environment which will be going to add it with this now with the 3.0 you have few more extra tools for the visual effect if you are going work over this type of data so if you see here the visual effects will be there like if you want to make it uh, vintage so as i told you i just try to focus just like last demo which i showed you so i give this type of vintage options so it will focus more over this particular sliding and if you want to go for some other effects so you can go uh, accordingly okay so see here different kind of way of presentations will be there which you can use it here okay so if you want to uh, make it uh, stop then simply click on this so it will stop it here this is the this is the this one this is the this one like last this one okay so improved display visual control for processing another one is improved display for the visual control for the visual effect tool which is also added in 3.0 so that is under this okay so this so different kind of modes you can apply it over here like if i want to make this presentation in black and white so i can i can able to show it here okay so that's kind of direct visualization tools which will be applied over here 
which you can use directly over this. OK, so if I want to stop, I simply click on this. So this model will stop there. OK, now I will move.